if you are having any trouble getting to a second date with any man, this video is for you. That's right. The poker player principle in dating is going to help you so much because it is foundationally centered in a man to want to achieve a second date with you. And moreover, it's important to understand this concept in how it will create interest in a man. And I can say this without really equivocating on it, because when you understand a foundational principle of men in terms of how interest is created and what keeps interest, you will get this concept and hopefully in your dating you will not forget it because whether it's going beautifully and you feel so connected or whether it's not going so well and you're feeling a bit of resistance, this will help you regardless. So what is it? Mm, let's go back first to a, a very important concept to get and that is what I call my make him wonder concept. If you've listened to my podcast, Make Him Wonder, you understand how valuable this is and it comes from my number one gender gap. If you've read my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One, you will see my gender gaps there and the number one gender gap I have, meaning the difference between men and women, is women love through knowing and men love through wondering. You may have a question about that because it seems so foreign to you. What is loving through wondering? Uh, easy way to understand this. Mm, perhaps you love a pet and sometimes you look into that pet's eyes and you wonder, what is he or she thinking? What is he or she feeling? You, you wonder, are they understanding what's going on? Uh, but you're filled with wonder of this little creature and how they react to you. And it's just, you are actually, in some way, when you love a pet, you are loving through wondering because you will never really know what that little love of yours is thinking or feeling. This is loving through wondering. And this is how men love women. Now, when you get this, you understand how foundational it is that in dating, and especially when you first meet a man, this can be when you meet organically or you are meeting online, you need to be making him wonder. Now, the poker player principle will really help you in this because when you become a poker player dater, you will just automatically be making a man wonder. And when he's wondering, he's actively engaged in the feelings of interest and loving and getting to know more. So I, I have a story about this and, and how I came to this, this concept. Um, in poker, you need to have what's called a poker face. And that is, no matter what your hand shows, and you may have the winning hand at the table, you can't let any other player know that with your expressions or anything even about your body language. People who are very high-level poker players, they pick up on the smallest thing regarding other players any movement, any energy coming off them. And the really good players get really good at this. So if you become good at this, you will get better in dating. So 
And an interesting story with this, uh, years ago, I, um, I had a boyfriend and to get out of New York City on a weekend, we would go to Atlantic City and he was a good poker player. And I got to sit beside him while he played poker. <laughs> well, I didn't understand the concept at all. And, you know, I would be kind of sitting next to him and, and looking at the cards and I didn't really know very much about poker, but I knew when the hand was good or not. And I used to ruin hands for him because I would belie the hand that he had. So, you know, I, I would, my energy would be different and I would get excited and so forth. And, and it just, of course, you know, ruined it for him. So I had to learn, you know, or, or certainly, you know, he would tell me to, to get away from the table for a while, which I would do. So here's the, here's the real key element of takeaway. When poker players are at a table, they know that the other players are enjoying the game. This is the difference between a just a poker face without the inherent, in, excuse me, inherent enjoyment of being there. And this is what can be that balancing act for you that you need to get to. So you need to create the feeling of enjoyment of being there, yet not showing or belying how you actually feel about the man. You see, enjoyment in the moment is not belying the feeling about the person. Because if you keep him wondering, you have a better chance of things going the distance and certainly getting to the next date. So, here's what you must come to for yourself. You must think about the meetings that you are having with any men. Perhaps you are meeting online, and I hope that you are, because online is where men are going to do most, if not all, of their meeting and dating. This is just a, a, a thing that is going on now that is inherent that you really know because if you're not online you are keeping yourself from a real possibility and most important in the poker player dating concept you must understand that there will be enjoyment of the game but yet not showing your hand, so to speak, in terms of your feelings about him. So, think about yourself. When you are meeting men, are you all in? Are you really showing your hand in that meeting? If you meet him and he, wow, he's, he's so good looking and um, he's funny and he's engaging, well, you have to really think about, okay, I've got to be a poker player here. I've got to not belie my feelings, excitement, anything that you might be feeling. But you have to show enjoying the meaning. You see the energetic, it, there's, there is a difference. And if you really think on this, you will understand where you fall on the scale of being absolutely, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be at all engaged or even playing this game, right? Of like the poker, right? Nobody there when they're playing the game feels that but they are good at the game, you see? And good at the game just means not showing their hand and not showing any of what is going on when they're looking at their hand. So perhaps you're the opposite and you show no enjoying the game at all 
because you're fearful and you just shut down and you are like a deer in the headlights. That isn't going to work either because that will give him the feeling of that you don't even want to be there. That isn't what poker players do. They are invested in the game. They do want to be there. So this is an energetic difference that if you need help on, certainly you can connect with me with your questions about this. As this is a practice and you need to get good at it because when you get good at it and women who are good at it show, you know, I want to be here. I, you know, I'm enjoying this game, but I am not going to let you know what is in my hand, meaning my feelings, even when they are being questioned. And in my program, One Love, online to never ending love seven simple steps to digital dating success whether you do that in my 12 week program whereby we're working individually week to week or you do it in my self help course which you can immediately go to now you get it right in your inbox it's completely affordable and we will be doing a one-time coaching intensive whereby we're talking once a one-time coaching intensive you get that with the program um, then you know we can be discussing these things on an individual deeper level of where you are with things so Again, whether you want to go all in and you know, I need to be working with someone and I need to be doing that right now, right away, certainly go to coachpaulagrooms.com slash programs and click on my One Love program. If you want to dip your toe in the water and you want, I want to really see what these steps are all about and I want to try them on my own and see how it goes because it's all in there whether you're doing it with me a weekly one-to-one -one, or whether you are doing it self-help you are going to get the concepts and if you're doing it self-help you try things out you see where you get and then you have a one-time coaching intensive with me where you get all your questions answered so I hope this was helpful today about being a poker player dater. When you are, it is going to be a game changer for you. And really, really think about this. Rewatch this video to get the concepts. Mm, really, really think about it. Really think about yourself as if in a movie perhaps on your last meeting with a man that you liked him, but he didn't follow up for a second date. Really think about this. Were you showing your hand too much, whether you liked him a lot, or even if you didn't, but you just want to see a man follow through? Check yourself. Think about it and watch yourself as if in a movie what were you showing? Were you showing that I don't even want to be playing poker, right, in the game at all? Because that won't work. Or did I show my hand and everything in between? So again, connect with me at coachpolygrooms.com. You can discover how to um, to actually uh, fill out a questionnaire and get to be talking to me in the One Love program, or you can go to the self-help course and get started right away. I hope that you do. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video. 
and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You can order it at any fine retailer where you get your books. And if you want more on me or any of my programs, my podcast, go to coachpaulagrooms.com and we could be talking soon.